Dell 7780 Precision Workstation. This is the top of the line. There's nothing above this particular model. And what we have here is the one and only true Precision Workstation. Anything below the 7000 line are just rebranded Latitudes and Dell XPS models. So what we have here is top of the line construction. The build quality, the materials, what we have here is absolutely outstanding. Um, I'm used to handling HP Elite Books with a full Raptoran metal body. This thing goes above and beyond that. It is unbelievably firm. This metal case is just screams quality. It's pretty scratch resistant. I, I absolutely love it. As you can hold it in your hand, it doesn't feel like that these are parts just put together. It feels like one chunk of solid metal. And if you open the laptop, you can open it maybe with one hand, but the hinges, the hinges are moving like a tank. It, it is firm and it's solid. It's just rolling. I work for a law office who ended up purchasing a building which was used to be a bank they have a vault the original vault door is still there uh, when i start to push that in or out this is what i feel with this it is unbelievably firm a lot of people complain about this laptop that is heavy uh, i'm complaining about it too it could be heavier it could be more chunkier bulkier i wouldn't care I feel like a lot of us who would purchase these particular models would be engineers, data scientists, and we would rather have even more a ticker machine. I know it sounds crazy, but we'll get to the point while I'm actually saying that. So uh, the, besides this whole Raptoran metal case, the second best part is definitely the screen. I absolutely love it. What we have here is a 17 inch 500 nit screen, it stands for brightness. It is, is bright enough even to be outside, not in a full blasting sun, but still capable to be worked on outside if you need to. It's also pretty color accurate. The view angle, how sharp and everything is crisp, top notch, no complaint whatsoever. Keyboard and the actual touchpad and this actual top cover. This surface, I don't even know if it's like almost like a very soft, smooth, rubberized surface. It is genius. I absolutely love it. It's screen quality. Uh, the, the keyboard is really, really good. We have backlit keyboards. I absolutely love it. One of the first not so great things about this laptop is the two megapixel webcam. Yes, it's Windows Hello capable, it's uh, IR capable, but a two megapixel webcam for like a $4,000, I feel like should not be the case. I know this is an old model, which is still up to date. If you go to Dell.com, it's 2025 February right now. If you go to Dell.com, this is still the latest available model, which has a 13 gen Intel CPU in them. This is the i9. Uh, there is an i5 and an i7 version, and you can get dedicated video cards. This has the RTX 2000 into them and also we have 64 gigs regular ddr5 these are not the cam memory equipped models we <laughs> had some of those and when it comes down to upgrading the ram they are crazy expensive uh, why with these you can just drop in a crucial or kingston kit and they work uh, great the original ram is 5600 these are 5600 but they are only running in a speed of 5200 no issues whatsoever they are super affordable i think ram wise you can go up to 128 gig these have now 64 gigs of ram and a one terabyte samsung 990 pro just to do the test and they absolutely crushing it they are super responsive anywhere you click it goes but when it comes down to performance um this is probably one of the part of the machine which i'm not completely blown away if I unplug this charger cable, which ends up going into a 240 watt slim type of power supply, power supply is not getting warm, it's not getting hot, uh, it, is, it is great. If we unplug this charging cable, this big barrel type of connector from the side of the machine, I really wish that this machine, just like the Dell G15 series or G16 series, would be taller. So we could have this actual connector on the back side of the PC. That would be significantly better. Dell uh, made an effort to uh, 
uh, reduce the inconvenience to put this connector right here closer to the end of the machine but it's still uh, I feel like it shouldn't be here also we have an RJ45 and an HDMI port regular USB port and two USB-C on this side and of course uh, this is the 7000 series so we can see a USB-C on the other side we also have a regular USB 3.2 port a card reader and we have a headphone out let's get into the performance and let's uh let's talk about uh, a couple things so these were famous when they came out that they were overheating they were extremely hot you could not touch this area a lot there's none of that the fan barely runs uh, there's a lot of throttling so i prepared two things for you we're just gonna use the intel extreme tuning software uh, there's actually nothing what we can do like regards of overclocking easily from the menu and i'm just gonna run cpu z and i'm just gonna use a single benchmark and see what's gonna happen on this chart when we can see throttling thermo throttling power throttling so or hitting any kind of power limit so i'm gonna go to bench and i'm gonna try to move this out of the way so you can see it uh, i'm gonna say let's do a multi-core test and let's say bench the cpu and as you can see the cpu is already 100 uh, celsius and the throttling begins right off the bat I was very surprised I ran about two resets of different test softwares and benchmarks just to see what kind of performance I'm getting out of this machine. I have a Dell G15 laptop. It's a gaming laptop what I have. I use it for editing videos in DaVinci Resolve and I ran the same exact test. I have an i7 only, not an i9, but the same 13th gen. I also have a same exact matching uh, crucial kit in my laptop and also have a one terabyte solid state in it the same 990 pro samsung and they had to head there's literally barely any performance difference between the two the main difference is uh, the g15 it has a plastic case it's significantly bulkier it's a louder but it's only 900 dollars versus this when we have four thousand dollars when the build quality is top notch but the performance i believe is just not there this i9 performs very close to my i7 if you looking at how well this thing is put together and constructed taking this laptop apart is not easy actually i am still kind of hesitating every time i have to take this laptop apart to do any kind of upgrade i'm gonna take out my mat and hopefully we're not gonna break anything that would be really really bad what we need is a single screwdriver and we're gonna start loosening these uh, screws up all right let's see how far we can get with this so i think the best way to approach this is actually somewhere here or on the hinges. Man, this is like quite something. Okay. It is unbelievable. So let's see what we have here after the big fight. We have one main solid state 2280 in here. We have three more. Technically, we can have a RAID 0, RAID 1, or even a RAID 10 just from the M2s. We have a 93 watt hour battery in here. We have two open slot DDR5. I think we can go up to 128 gigs of RAM. And we also have the optional port for the 5G uh, modem. This thing is a beast. These fans are absolutely lovely. I like them. I wish we would have two more on the other side and the performance would be just a teeny tiny bit better. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Scott's out.